Over the course of a decade and change, Michael C. Hall starred on two of the most critically acclaimed television series in recent memory, both of them about death. He played David Fisher on HBO's family-run funeral home drama Six Feet Under, and then vigilante serial killer Dexter Morgan on Showtime's Dexter. Between the two shows, Hall amassed six Emmy and five Golden Globe nominations and one Golden Globe win for his performances. Yeah, well, the tricky, the tricky thing about Dexter is I look so much like him. But with the end of Dexter in 2013, Hall has been largely absent from TV. Here's a look at what he's been up to in the past few years. Curtain Call Hall is an experienced theatrical actor. After completing the graduate acting program at New York University's prestigious Tisch School of the Arts, Hall landed the plum role of the MC in director Sam Mendez's 1999 revival of Cabaret on Broadway. While on a hiatus from Six Feet Under in 2002, he portrayed shady lawyer Billy Flynn in the long-running revival of the musical Chicago. When Dexter concluded in 2013, Hall again had the time to return to the stage. One of his most notable roles was in Hedwig and the Angry Inch, a glam rock musical about an East German transgender wannabe rock star. Hall was the third actor to play the title role on Broadway following Neil Patrick Harris and Andrew Reynolds. Channeling Bowie Hall's next major theatrical role was Thomas Newton in Lazarus, a musical co-created by David Bowie just before his death in 2016. Built around previously existing Bowie songs as well as ones that had yet to be released, Lazarus was presented by the New York Theatre Workshop from late 2015 to early 2016. Hall reprised his role when the sold-out show moved to London. When Bowie died unexpectedly just before the Lazarus cast recorded the show's album, Hall said that he felt an internal fist clinch. But the cast decided to continue the work in his honor. And we were glad that we were able to get together and celebrate his life by recording the album. Voice Work Outside of stage and screen, Dexter has used his vocal talents to do some voice work here and there. Hall has had a recurring role on the light-hearted Disney XD sci-fi fantasy series Star vs. the Forces of Evil. In what's probably Hall's most comic role to date, he voiced an evil reptile named Toffee. Eat something. Could be your last meal. A little closer to his wheelhouse of dark, brooding men, Hall played Batman in Justice League Gods and Monsters, with some lines that'll probably bring on deja vu for Dexter fans. He bled to death. Yes, except they can't find the blood. Indie movies. Since the end of Dexter, Hall has popped up in a handful of low-profile but critically acclaimed independent films. He starred in Cold in July, taking the role of a man who kills a burglar and then must deal with the man's father, who's out for revenge. Hall followed up that screen role with yet another project revolving around death, Christine, about a deeply unstable Florida news anchor. Michael C. Hall played George, a potential love interest and fellow news anchor. Married Life in February 2016, Hall took some time to catch up on his personal life. At New York City Hall, he and Morgan McGregor, his partner of four years, tied the knot, which marked Hall's third trip down the aisle. In the early 2000s, he married his Chicago co-star, actress Amy Spanger, and later got hitched to Jennifer Carpenter, who played his sister, Deb, on Dexter. Radiohead Obsessed In 2016, Hall and fellow Hedwig and the Angry Inch star Lena Hall teamed up to perform at a Radiohead tribute concert called Radiohead Obsessed. The band they formed was a one-time only thing, turning out a performance at New York's Café Carlisle. The songs they played included Ripcord from Radiohead's 1993 debut LP Pablo Honey, as well as a mashup of songs from Radiohead's 1995 follow-up The Bins. Upcoming Projects Hall will be back on screens big and small very soon. Over the last couple of years, he's filmed appearances in three high-profile projects. Hall has joined the second season cast of Netflix's Queen Elizabeth II drama The Crown, portraying President John F. Kennedy. Another project, The Silent Man, is a thriller about the Watergate scandal starring Liam Neeson as Mark Felt, the high-ranking FBI official who leaked details of the scandal to the Washington Post under the name Deep Throat. In that film, Hall has a major role as John Dean, the lawyer who served as White House counsel during the sinking Nixon administration. And finally, he's slated to appear in the Gettysburg Address, a documentary about President Abraham Lincoln's most famous speech. Sounds like there's life after Dexter after all. I have nothing to hide. Except for the syringes, scalpels, and bone saw hidden in that secret drawer underneath. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.